Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to look at differential amplifiers. Now, first, uh, that, let's look at the order we are going to do. First, we are going to look at dual input balance output. DBO, in short term, we can say DBO. And this circuit, now let's redraw the circuit a little bit differently. Here we have VD by 2. VD by 2 voltage and the resistance here is RS. RS. And here we have R. RS again. RS again and then here we will have 2RC 2RC and this voltage is VBC this is the equivalent model for the same circuit I am drawing and also we will have 2RE 2RE parallel 2RE 2RE parallel RE connected to the ground. Okay. Now the first thing is this is we are going to do the DC analysis. DC analysis. This DC analysis. Now the first thing is we are going to calculate IB. And if you look at this one, IB is basically minus VBE VBE plus VW VW divided by RS plus 2RE times 1 plus beta and also we know that IC is equal to beta times IB this is a general equation and the fourth one R5 here is equal to VT this is a this is a constant value VT is 26 millivoltage divided by the IB current base current and uh, Vt is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by Ib and then transconductance is given by Ic over Vt and this is the DC analysis for differential amplifiers. Now let's uh, look at D in gain. D in gain for a differential D in gain we assume R is equal to infinity. So we can neglect neglect R E. So R E is not there. And then V O1, V O2. Now let's see how to calculate this. First uh, we are going to draw the equivalent model of this circuit, equivalent phi model. In phi model, you can see if the voltage input is V D by 2. The, so that's the one we are going to have right here. VD by 2 in the bottom we will have the emitter this line is E and the RS resistant will be here and here we will have a resistor this resistor will be R5 and the voltage across this one is V5 and here we will have a current the magnitude of the current is GMV5 And parallel to this one, we will have RC resistance, this resistance here. And this one is collector, this one is base. The bottom line is emitter. RC and the voltage across this one is VSI. VSI and the resistance R, in, R output. Here, if we calculate AD, the gain, differential gain that is basically VO divided by VD and VO is basically VO2 minus VO1 divided by VD okay now let's go ahead and continue let's get rid of this part
let's uh, continue here. Now the first one is I don't have anything to resume. Alexa, I... Alexa, stop. I Alexa, stop. Okay, let's continue here. First, we are going to calculate VO1. VO1 is equal to negative GMV phi multiplied by RC. From this circuit, you can also I, I forgot to draw this one connected to the ground. Okay, negative GMV phi times RC is V O one, the V output one right here. Now we know that the gain is basically V O divided by V D, and also we are going to calculate V phi. V phi is V D divided by two times R phi divided by R phi. I'm doing based on this circuit. R phi plus R S. So this is second one, this is V5. Now let's go ahead and do the VO1. VO1 is third one. VO1 is negative GM VD divided by 2 because instead of V5, we divided. I mean, here you can say instead of V5, we plugged VD divided by 2 GM here. And uh, instead of Okay, gm vd divided by 2 that is v phi actually vd divided by 2 the whole thing r phi over r phi plus rs r phi divided by r phi plus rs times rc and if you look at vo2 vo2 also same magnitude but the positive sign since it's a difference amplifier, one is negative, one is positive, it's the same magnitude. So VO is basically VO2 minus VO1. From this one you can see both of them are equal. So if you minus minus it's going to become plus. So two times of this, this is denominator 2 will go away. So we will end up with GM times R5 divided by R5 plus RS times VD times RC. Okay. Now, beta times RC divided by R5 plus RS. Therefore, finally we'll get VD divided by 2 is equal to IB times RS plus R5. And if we rearrange this one, we will get VD divided by 2 is equal to RI, that is equal to 2 times RS plus R5. And from this one, we know that RO is equal to RC. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue. Now we are going to do the AC. We did it for DC. Now let's go ahead and do, the, do it for the AC. Now let's get rid of these things. If I draw the, draw the AC equivalent, it's going to look like this. We have base. R5 right here, the voltage across this one is V5 and this one is base and the current going through this one is GMV5 and this one is collector and this one is RC then the resistance here is 2RE 2RE Connected like this, the volt, um, the voltage across this one is VO, and here we have the impedance that is Z1, and this one is Z in input impedance, and then here the voltage here is VC, voltage across this is VC. Now Z1 is basically R5 plus 2RE times 1 plus beta okay z in is r s plus 
zi okay, let's go ahead and continue here and we know that uh, a v voltage gain is equal to a v times z i divided by z in and uh, first let's do that v o is equal to negative g m v phi times r c that's equal to negative i c r c second one v i is equal to i b times z i a c is equal to v o over v i times z n z i divided by z n negative i c r c divided by i b times z i times z i divided by z n now let's continue here this one is equal to negative beta times r c divided by z n and this one is going to become negative beta times r c divided by 2 r e times 1 plus beta plus r phi plus r s and here this one is basically beta we can neglect one and then this r s is going to be zero from this one we finally end up with ac is equal to negative beta rc divided by 2 re beta here beta beta cancel so finally we will end up with negative rc over 2 re 2 re this is a common mod rejection rate i mean common mod ac and that's all about differential amplifier i'm going to more i'm going to go more details on this and uh, i'm going to make a lot of videos on that i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time